Good afternoon, everyone. The purpose of this video is to discuss what is happening with our workforce development programs and services. And we're going to bring a friend in. We're going to bring Marguerite Himmelberg. Her official title is Senior Director of Workforce Development. And she's going to talk about all the great work we're doing, even during this unusual time, with our various employers, uh, industry leaders, to make sure we're meeting their needs during this time. So we will invite Marguerite join us. Okay, she has been with the college, I believe, 13 years. She does an outstanding job. She's very well connected and throughout the community in terms of workforce development. So she should be coming in. Well, good afternoon, Marguerite. How are you? Hi, Paul. How's everything going? Thank you for joining us. I just gave you a little introduction and said how well connected you are in the various uh, workforce communities trying to match up um, our ability to provide training to those employers that really need it, um, even at, during this unusual time that we're all navigating. So I'll turn it over to you and tell us about all the wonderful things that you're, you and your team are doing for SEC and employers. Sure, it's really been a different kind of busy because most of our training has been up to this point face to face. So we have some opportunities to do some things in a new way and work in a new way and we're all getting to be really good with Zoom and starting to learn a little bit more about Zoom webinar. We are in the process of working on uh, transitioning some of our classes into an online environment. Uh, some of that's going to take a little time, but we are able to do some things uh, right up front. Maybe I'll share with you just a couple of the things that we're doing. Perfect. This is an example of uh, collaboration uh, Dana Myers put together with uh, Steve Bors business survival tips. Um, so really giving uh, some of our small businesses, especially some information on uh, highlights of the CARES Act and some other things, and using one of her leadership instructors that she has for her uh, public enrollment classes, Dave Hansen, who happens to be a CEO and is the current chairman of the board for Swanson Russell. So he stepped up in, in a hurry to, to want to participate and give back to the community. And I'll give you another example. This is, uh, again, uh, one of Dana's leadership instructors providing some information on communicating and being positive and being effective, um, especially under stress, which is often hard for everybody, but really important for leaders. So again, using one of her leadership instructors to provide some opportunities. And then one final share. And this is an example of some online manufacturing training. This is through a partnership that we have with Tool and You. So we're able to provide some immediate opportunities for some of our employers for courses such as this while we're developing and building some other things that we can be working with our employers to do. Marguerite, that's, that's wonderful. Could you also just kind of give everyone a quick overview of all of the things we do in your area? Because I'm not sure everyone Sometimes it gets a little confusing um, talking about credit versus non-credit and workforce training. And what, is, what tell us about all the various things that uh, you all do for the workforce. Absolutely. Well, well, one is our public enrollment or open to public classes. So this provides some immediate skills training, for example, in uh, Excel has become really popular as people are working to manage data. So we've got a lot of power users out there that are wanting to work with Excel. We also have leadership development as a public enrollment class and our health classes. This is a really important year for nursing licensure, uh, relicensing. So Jen Kaichis is really rapidly working to see how she can get her May and June conferences into an online format so that she can serve the nurses so they can get those CEUs that they need. Another is uh, uh, electricians. This is an important license renewal 
for electricians. So Caleb Berg is working with the state to see how we can comply in an online format to meet some of those needs. Another area is with customized training. So this is um, training that's very specific to business and industry. And I was thinking a lot of this is going to be at a standstill now, but we're still getting people interested in training. They're just moving back the dates to when we're hopeful that we'll be able to meet face to face. Uh, but Kelly and Beatrice had a really nice success story here just very recently. Been working with a company uh, wanting to do an apprenticeship pathway, starting with a high school uh, uh, opportunity. So this would be students that maybe didn't have a college plan, giving them an overall introduction into manufacturing. The first year would be a continuing education opportunity, and then they would be moving into a pathway for an associate's degree. And we thought that was going to be on the table for right now because uh, the employer hadn't even been able to meet with the public schools. But Kelly was able to connect the employer to the public schools via Zoom had a great con uh, conversation. They're ready to keep moving forward with that opportunity, which is a great win for the community. If you're thinking about a high school student, uh, if I'm not planning on where to go to college, my op opportunities might look a little dim, but here's an employer who's hiring and is gonna create an opportunity to pay for the education of that student. No, I know. The third area. Oh, sure, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to mention a third area is uh, partnerships. Uh, one example is we partner with the state of Nebraska for their annual cybersecurity conference. And uh, Laura Ives is already talking with, us, with our state partners to talk about how might this look this year. Last year we had 500 people at that conference and we're looking at October. And if that's not going to be an op opportunity to have 500 people in one room together, we might need to break that down into some sort of online modules. And then we're also working with different economic groups. Uh, we've been plugged in with the Southeast Nebraska manufacturers to help promote and advance manufacturing. And we're working with credit programs on that as well. And with the Southeast Nebraska healthcare um, partners. So we're still making those communications, but it's all been Zoom so far. That's great, Marguerite. I really appreciate it. I think one of the things we have to be mindful of during this time is, is there's gonna, we're going to come out of this and there's going to be a tremendous need for training. As you know, yes. one, of the, one of the unfortunate things has been a very large increase in unemployment rate. And many, many people are going to be looking for training opportunities. Some of it's going to be credit. Some of it's going to be shorter term mm -hmm. non-credit uh, options. And we, we're going to need to be prepared to ab absorb that uh, tremendous demand for training. We also are should be uh, anticipating maybe a shift in interest, maybe there will be more interest in these career technical programs as an example um, that will be coming our way and we need to make sure we're prepared for that. So we appreciate all you do. Uh, did you have anything Thank else? Thank you, Paul. No, I was just to the point that you made, uh, Amy Chesley, who's the de Dean of Continuing Education, and I met with a few people from American Job Center and WIOA who were talking about they wanted to make sure they understood what some of those short-term opportunities were, both credit and non-credit. So Amy is, is actively working on that right now to make sure they have all of that information. Great. I really appreciate you helping me out with this video. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and close our uh, little session today. So thank you so much. Appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks. Have a great afternoon. All right. You too.